If you're looking for an app that can be used for illustrating, diagramming, or mapping a concept, or annotating images to explain parts and pieces of something, or taking photos to support learning or showing sequence, progress, or something else, then Sketch is probably the right app for you. Go ahead and get started by tapping on the Sketch app. At this point, you can see there are several ways to access photos and bring them into Sketch so that you can annotate on top of them. At the bottom edge of your iPad, you can start with photos. So photos in your photo gallery or your camera roll that you've already taken. So I can go ahead and tap on camera roll here and see what sort of photos I have. And maybe I want to annotate the different types of adapters for iPads versus MacBooks. So I can tap on that photo that I've already taken. That looks like a good photo to use. And at this point, I can see my tools along the right side. So if I tap on that arrow tool, I can see I have a tool for adding text to this document. So I can tap beside this adapter over here that is for the iPad. And I can tap next to the MacBook. adapter. I can tap back on the photo to move that keyboard out of the way. Now that I have that text, I can tap on the picture and then tap back on that text and I can hold it down and drag it around to place it where I want it on the picture. I can grab the blue handle and I can drag it so that it is larger. I can do the same thing with the other text box. I can drag it around till it's placed where I'd like it to be can grab the blue handle to increase or decrease the size of that font. Um, I can tap back on the text tool on the right side to look at my other tools. Maybe I want to use the arrow tool and instead of having neon green ink, maybe I can tap on the ink choices on the left side. And at this point, maybe I'd like to use a different color, so maybe pink. And because I had that text box still selected, it actually changed that to pink. Um, I'm going to make sure that I'm tapped outside of the text box, just on the photo itself. And I'll tap back on the ink and select orange. And I'm going to tap on the ink one more time to select the width of the ink that I'm going to use. So closest to the colors is more narrow, um, and further out from the colors is a broader or wider stroke. So I'm going to use a fairly broad stroke and I'm going to put my finger on the screen and drag toward where I want the arrow end to go. So I'm going to drag toward that lightning end of the adapter and now at this point maybe I want to move that arrow so I can tap on it once so that I get the handles and now I can drag those handles around and reposition my arrow. All right, I can add another arrow by tapping on the screen again so that I've deselected that arrow and I can add another arrow. If it's tiny and I really wanted a bigger one, I can tap it so that I get the handles. And again, I can stretch out that arrow to be the size that I want it to be. All right, so I'm dragging toward the pointed end of the arrow. I'm going to tap back on the arrow tool along the right edge of the screen to look at my other tool choices and perhaps I want to use a shape to mark something in my photo. So I'm going to tap on the shape tool and I see I have some choices there, a rectangle, a circle, a line, um, a rectangle with curved edges. Maybe I just want the rectangle and I'm going to leave the line color as orange but maybe I'm going to make it a little bit more narrow than what I had selected. And I might want to draw attention in this photo to the different types of adapters and how the ends look. So I'll just drag out a rectangle by tapping on the screen and dragging out my shape. And then I can come back if I want to move that and I can tap on that rectangle till I get the blue handles and I can make some adjustments. I can even tap back over on the width of the line and make that line much wider. You can do the same thing with the other line by tapping on it so that it is selected until I get the blue handles. 
and then I can adjust that and again I can make it a wider rectangle if I'm trying to draw attention to the end of that. And again I can tap on the photo off of the shape um, in order to deselect it. I'll tap back on the rectangular rectangle tool on the right side to look at my other choices. Um, there's a highlighting marker there if I had some text that I wanted students to highlight they can do that. Um, there are also some stamps some different stamp choices. Again, maybe if you had some student writing, you might like them to mark things in their text with an exclamation point, a question mark, a check mark um, for different things that they know or have questions about. There's also another stamp tool with uh, smiley faces. So again, if it's student writing samples, you may want them to mark um, the best sentence or the most descriptive sentence in their writing sample or something in some text that's giving them some trouble they don't quite understand it. All right, the top tool in our toolbar set there on the right side is a pixelation tool. So I can tap on that and then I can drag it out. So maybe I'll drag out a rectangle across the end of this MacBook adapter and you'll notice once I release that rectangle on the screen it actually pixelates that uh, the photo at that point. So let's say your students are maybe doing a chemistry lab and they're documenting some stage in the lab and their lab partner is a student without a media release form. And if they did have that student's permission to take the photo then they could use this pixelation tool to pixelate their face so that if they were posting this photo somewhere that they wouldn't be posting a photo online um, with a student without a media release form. Right. Also in a student's writing sample, you might want to pixelate the student's name um, in that document. At this point, if I decided, or even before I began annotating this image, um, if I decided I wanted to crop this image down, I didn't actually need the whole image. At the top edge of the screen, there's a crop tool. Um, and an undo tool is to the left of that, so that's very handy um, for undoing what you've done to the photo. But I could use that crop tool by tapping on it, and then I could move this grid around diagonally to position the grid over the part of the photo that I want to save. So maybe I don't need the top and the bottom edges of this photo. I could move that grid in and then in the top right corner of my screen I could tap on crop image and it will cut off the top and the bottom edge of that image and readjust it. All right. At this point if I'm finished with my image and now I want to turn it into the teacher to document the work I've been doing, I can tap on the share icon in the top right corner of the screen. And then I see under the photo there, I have the option to save this annotated image to my photos. So I'm going to select that. You could also email it, but it might be nice to save it to the photos first just to make sure it doesn't get lost in email. You can always email it from photos later. So just to be safe, I'm going to save this off to my photo gallery. And now if I tapped on my home button and I went back to my home screen and I looked in my photo gallery, I would actually see this annotated image here in my sketch album. I could tap on that and I'll see that I have that image here that I annotated. And now if I wanted to send this to the teacher, I could tap that share icon in the bottom left and either email it or airdrop it uh, to turn it in if it was documenting my learning for the day. All right, another option in Sketch, I can tap on Start New at the bottom there. And instead of using my photo gallery, I can, at the bottom edge of my screen, I can tap on Camera there. And I can actually use my live camera to take a photo of something that I want to annotate in Sketch. So maybe I want to annotate all of the geometric shapes that I see in this room. So I could just take a photo by tapping on the photo button and I can begin with this arrow tool here in the center and maybe I want to draw attention to something I can tap where it says add text and I can tap in there by default it's going to add look maybe I want to say look at all the shapes or squares All right, again, I can tap on the photo outside of that text box. I can come back and select that again and move it around, reposition it, 
could tap back on the arrow to reposition it as well. At the top edge of the screen, I have the option to use more tools. I could tap on that, and here again you'll see the undo tool, the crop tool, and then along the right side, all of those familiar tools that we just went over. The text tool, the shape tool, highlighter, the different stamp options, the pixelate tool, and the arrow tool. All right, and once I select one of those tools, and I tap on the screen, I'll notice on the left side I get my color options again. Once I'm done with my image, again I can tap that share icon in the top right corner of my screen and I could now send this photo to my photo gallery and email it from there later.